Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we've got LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7. <sighs> I know this has been a very, very much requested game, and we are finally taking it on. In fact, we've got Level 1, The Dark Time Story, where we're going to get a level trophy achievement called Albus, Percival, Wolfric, and Brian. We're also going to shoot for that true wizard requirement of 120k, and we're going to get a gold brick for completing the level. So, as you guys might remember, this is a fairly older LEGO title, and uh, as it be... There are no voiceovers for the characters, so there's going to be a lot of cutscenes that showcase a lot of what's going on in the movie, but there's not going to be any words. So, sorry, no subtitles, no words. We're just going to have to go ahead and listen to the groans and moans and try and figure out what's going down. So, uh, that being said, I have talked over the official first cutscene of the game, and uh, we're about ready to get things a rolling. So, speaking of getting things a rolling, I get off to a little bit of a slow start here. I wasn't quite sure what was going on going on I could tell that I wasn't in a level but yet I am in a level because there's the true wizard requirement bar up top so anyhow we're gonna start off by using our magic which happens to be Wingardium Leviosa that's like one of the only actual things I know about Harry Potter's magic spells. Like, I know lots of characters and other things, but uh, you'll have to bear with me as I'm going to try to uh, make my way through this. I'm actually going to watch all of the movies that are uh, revolving around this particular series, and uh, hopefully I'll know what's going down as we get a little further into it. So, uh, i got to be honest, the uh, kid in me, the Toys R Us kid that is, wanted to check out the old playground here. There's quite a few items we can bounce around and check out and slide on down to. But once you're all ready to move on down, move on down, down the road. We're going to go ahead and use Leviosa one more time to go ahead and remove the shrubs, blocking this strong handle here that our good friend can handle. So, uh, well, actually, he's not a good friend. Uh, he's quite, quite honestly, he's uh, one of our enemies, or at least he would kind of seem to be that. So, uh, all right, I have knocked the block off of the old car here, which has revealed another strong handle. We're going to need to rip that open. So, a lot of switchies, backs, and forthies with these two. And uh, what we're going to do is use the remaining bricks left over to go ahead and build the bridge. And, of course, switch back on over to Big D, Dudley, and uh, have him rip that off. And uh, to be honest with you, I thought that stud little uh, clump right there was actually pointing to the right like it was indicating we needed to go to the right-hand side. And I noticed I can get over into the water or sewage area where, uh, of course, I took Big D. Notice I didn't want to get Harry Potter's stuff all dirty. Of course not. Uh, and, oh, yeah, I'd forgotten about this. I was really excited about this game, and then I remembered, oh, right, they have these puzzles. Not a huge fan of these, to be completely honest with you, in all fairness. I have not played much, if any, beyond what you're seeing here, so I can't really judge or grade how well they have improved or not improved in some of the things that bothered a lot of people uh, in LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4, as well as 5 through 7. In fact, I've already had a whole bunch of questions come in of, hey, have they changed this? Have they changed that? And I unfortunately don't know a whole lot. Uh, if you're wondering about years 1 through 4, we do have a video or two up from Dougie Plays, and... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, hey, there's another cutscene right here, but it's like it's one of those things that if you like blink a couple of times You're gonna miss it. So I'm just gonna keep on flapping my yapper right on over the top You can see we've made it into the corridor here, which uh, we actually get what, what are these dementors? I think that's what these are I mean, I, I know that there's some other things out there death eaters and things like I'm pretty sure this is dementor though and and uh, they're coming after us, and I'm doing a pretty good job of fending them back except for one sneaks on by me right here makes it the big D which uh, this is kind of the same of how it is in the movie, but not quite. And, hey, we got a cutscene. I'm actually going to uh, take a little break, and uh, I'll see you here in just a hot second when we get through this. Get him, Harry! Hey, <sighs> 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 <laughs> I don't know about you, but I would certainly have a blast if I uh, was in a situation like this. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. We're flying through the city on our broomstick of awesome. 
And uh, look at that. There's even like a aircraft carrier, some sort of uh, uh, military-based ship. And uh, we're flying up and around and all over. And, oh, one of my favorite parts is coming up, the old Ferris wheel. So nice little tour as we go on through her, the city. And, of course, it's just going to actually uh, take us into one more little cutscene, And then it takes us to an area which, I have to be honest, I... Uh, uh, yeah, it didn't work out all that well for me. Luckily for me, I was able to kind of edit out a, a couple of minutes worth of nonsense. But hey, speaking of nonsense, shh, we gotta see what's cracking. Of cheated and removed some nonsense. So basically, I, I saw up top there's three characters that we need to rescue, um, and I can tell that there is one who happens to be Mad Eye Moody upside down in the middle of this fountain here. And so I knew that magic would kind of spin these guys around, but as it turns out, we actually have to spin all of them around at once, and we need the help of the other characters we need to rescue. So as it turns out, there's at least four characters we need to rescue, but only three are needed right now in order to advance. So uh, we're going to start up on the high left side, and we're going to use Leviosa to go ahead and move around these Puebo flowers. In fact, we had to find one of them inside of, I don't know if it was a box or what, we actually got lucky and uh, blasted some magic, and all of a sudden it was just there bouncing around. So uh, you might have to destroy some things to go ahead and get what you need, but once you get both of them into place, It'll go ahead and chop on down the tree, and we get another person to join our crew here. So, uh, turns out old Kingsley here has the ability to destroy silver bricks, which is kind of nice because there just so happens to be a silver lock over on a little, uh, I don't know what this is, a little box of some sort, a little storage bin. We go ahead and we bust it open, and look at that. Sure enough, there's some stuff inside being stored properly, and we build them up into, oh, look at this. It's a little game of whack-a-mole. We're going to go ahead and pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. One more time, oh, to the yeah. And we've got our second character free and ready to roll and help us out. And, oh, what's this? we got a little sprinkle time, huh? Oh, a little running through the sprinklers. It looks like that's going to be some free playage. Looks like there's five total sprinklers that are surrounding the area here. And So, uh, yeah, as it would be, I thought maybe, just maybe, I'd be able to do this thinking that, oh, the last person... But wait a minute, that's not Moody. That's, uh, what's her name? Uh, Agatha. Uh, uh, I know some of you will be like, what? How do you not know that? Uh, but yeah, uh, anyhow, that's uh, another character. We actually need one more character to be freed before we can get old Mad Eye Moody. Alright, so I, I switched over to Kingsley thinking I needed to destroy these silver bricks that are shining ever so brightly at me. Twinkle, twinkle. But as it turns out, that's not the case at all. Uh, when I even came back for round two, a little second helping, or second harvest for some of you. And I thought there might be some buildable bricks or something, but no, no such luck. And it looks like we need old Art Weasley to go ahead and fix blue Lego bricks. So that's not going to work either. Now, I do remember there is some shiny bits in a garbage can up on the left-hand side path. And there was kind of that front ground area I never walked into. So let's go check that out right quick. And oh, look at that. We've got a bit here that we need to put on. And let's see here. Does it go on top? No. Button back? No. How about front seat daisies? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, now we can go ahead and move this guy and slap it right on top. And we've almost got this creation. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's some sort of... Uh, oh, look at that. Whatever it is, we found the last character we need in order to make these all spin to win and uh, free old Mad-Eye Moody. And once we get Moody out, uh, it actually gives us a hint right away that we need to find his stick. But of course, I'm oblivious. I'm like, oh, okay, let's move along, people. Let's go ahead and roll on out. Oh, let's go ahead and kick this door open and see what's cracking. But oh, there's a light and we need to be Moody. But wait a minute, it says Mad-Eye has lost his staff. So we'll go ahead and find it. Oh, look at that. There it is. It's sitting right there. We ran right by it. It's not too hard to find. So we'll grab that. We'll return it to him. And booyaka shaw. He, look at that. It looked like he put it in his pocket for a second. I'm not sure. Maybe he has one of those cool pockets that you can put a lot of stuff in. I, I, I've always liked that about the Harry Potter. But, uh, oh, open says me. Or open says Mad-Eye Moody. Ha ha ha! 
Here we are. We have uh, used the old muggle way to get down into the Ministry of Magic. I think that's how that all worked. In fact, uh, I have started this movie as I'm kind of editing this right now, and I plan on watching it once I get done so I can kind of know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But uh, all right, here we are. We have uh, made our way all the way to the right where we actually find a whole bunch of wizards and some sandwich boards. So, And not the kind of sandwiches that you normally can chow down. It turns out we actually have to switch on over to Mr. Weasley again and go ahead and repair some of these blue bricks. And oh, to the, yeah, look at this. Uh, we fix the uh, the item with wheels, and then the wheels walk around. And uh, wait a minute, what's going on there? There's like a guy with a cape and something's going down. But hey, we've got some bricks that have fallen out of the chimney because we've apparently cleaned it all up and found some scraps. And check it out, now we actually can travel using the flu network. And uh, not like the uh, flu like you get in the wintertime when you get cold. But no, it's actually the flu, the F-L-O-O. -O. And oh, check it out. We've got a fountain and some pieces. Oh, and a poiple. Of course, once I see that poiple, I know I'm gonna, I know what I'm doing. I'm going right after that bad boy because got to get them all. Got to get them all. But all right, little Leviosa to go ahead and spin that wheel around. And oh, look at that. We've got a couple of bricks, and they happen to be bouncing. So we'll go ahead and build those guys up. And what do we got? Oh, there's a giant in the background. What's up there, buddy? Oh, look at that. He tipped his hat to us. That was good timing on the old reading. So, all right, we have got that bluesy and the purple twosy. And oh, we've got, oh, 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 it's a paper airplane. I didn't realize that's what we had going on here. I remember when I was a kid, I was like the master. I had like six or seven different versions of paper airplanes. I guarantee you I could not build one of them today. But uh, that might be fun. Uh, Reese and I should get into some paper airplane building at some point. But hey, check it out. We flew it around. It uh, <laughs> popped that guy right in the took us, opened up the door for us. And oh, now we have made our way into dark times, which... Uh, yeah, this level is actually labeled as Dark Times, but I guess the trophy achievement is actually how I've labeled that, so hopefully I didn't label mislabel the first level wrong by calling it Dark Times, but hey, we have completed it, we're gonna get that trophy achievement for completing it, and, uh, oh, to the, uh, little Leviosa inside the Elevatorosa, and a couple of bouncing bricks, and oh no, it's actually, was that a frog? Well, get your ribbit on and take it on over to Buddy, and he dances for... Oh, look at that. Oh! I don't know what that was. It was like uh, one of those grand finale firework boxes that went big bada boom and left a couple of pieces scattered throughout the room. Oh, look at that. We're going to use some Leviosa one more time. Pick it on up, slap it on the wall, and, of course, spin to win, and it'll take us into the final cutscene. So I'll see you at the totals. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh, but 
for your kashau. Trophy achievement earned, Albus Percival something Brian. That's right, I totally was behind on that, so my bad. But uh, hey, we got a trophy achievement for our first remastered Harry Potter. And look at that, we also got ourselves our first gold brick. We only need 199 more, so it won't take much longer, right? Oh, to the yeah. That was actually happening really fast. I might have to slow that final totals down on the next one. But um, yeah, fun stuff. We uh, did not get any of the crests. Uh, we did not save the student in peril. In fact, we even fell short on that true wizard status. But uh, hey, that's what the story's for. Normally, we showcase all the story bits. But uh, I got to be honest, the story bits are not as cool as the current day ones because there's no voiceovers. But hey, we'll get through this together. And hey, if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions head on over to our social pages like facebook twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below happythumbsgaming.com is also a, a available option for you and the home of our gaming and product reviews hmm have to work on this outro. Anyhow, uh, it's, I'm a little rusty, all right? I'm a little rusty. Actually, I'm not rusty at all. I've been doing videos all day long and all week long. So, oh, to the yeah, I'll get my act together here, I promise. And uh, hopefully you've already moved on to the next video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of next video, I got more work to do. So rather than critiquing me and my horrible outro, I'm going to go ahead and move on and get a new start on the next one. As always, until next time. Wingardium Leviosa!